You feel good about the next one? Double or nothing? Just one game for a hundred subs? Are you out of your mind? Double or nothing? Let's roll the dice. Let's go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to part two of my match against poker legend Charlie Carroll, a.k.a. Epiphany77. Uh, in our last video, he had just come over with a big raid on Twitch. I was streaming. He was streaming. He brought all of his viewers over to come and watch us play some chess, which was really cool. And what happened is in the first match when we left it off, I had just won the first three games of our encounter. And now my opponent has offered me 50 subs if I can adopt him in a match. What that means is that if I can win a total of 10 games in a row, I'm going to get the equivalent of $250. Uh, and of course, that is pretty awesome. Twitch will be taking a huge cut of that money, but you know, it's still an amazing offer. So obviously I accepted this. And in this video, we're gonna figure out exactly what happens next. I'm up three, so I just gotta win seven 3-0 games. Oh yeah, let's go, baby. I can win seven more. I might get serious though now. <laughs> we've been we've been joking around. This is This is up in the ante. This is making it serious. All right, I'll do random color. So I'm up three. I need seven more for 50 subs. Holy cow. All right. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I might goof a little bit. I mean, a little bit. I've been getting away with it so far, but for 50 subs, I'm going to be a little bit serious here. Oh, okay. All right. I see. I see. I see. I see how we're going to do this. It's now... Uh, the shoe is on the other foot. Now suddenly, <laughs> the opponent is the one gambiting. So this will make it very interesting. Honestly, not an expert here, so I probably will not repeat this opening. But we'll see what happens. Knight c3 would be the craziest. Blocking on d2 with something would be the least crazy. And I think I sneak d5 in, and I think I'm fine. Now I think objectively I'm doing well. Pressure on this guy. But if he castles, I probably followed up with the quick castles. Uh, I will play viewers this stream. But we got 50 subs on the line. This is not a everyday opportunity. I can't throw this opportunity away. And we're starting off with a pretty decent position. Happy with what's going on so far. So far, so good. Uh, okay. Make a small threat. How's it going, Steli? Here, here is the plan. <laughs> I cook as well as I play. I should open a restaurant. I don't do most of the cooking in this family, to be 100% honest. I have an absolutely amazing wife. Uh, who is responsible for most of the cooking in the Schrantz household. Literally, before we came on here, we were doing a little bit of, uh, a little bit of planning. I'm going to be getting some... Dinner is already well planned out. I'm going to be getting some... Uh, what do you call it? I'm going to get some toast with raviolis, I think? Something good for dinner. I have already forgotten what it is, but it's going to be delicious. And it's because I have an amazing wife. If you don't have an amazing wife, I do recommend it. Ooh, this is a piece. All right. Starting off strong here. A little bit of a tactic. First tactic goes to me. Bishop takes h3 was always there. With well, this many subs on the line, I'm feeling a little bit less risky than usual. <laughs> so there we go. One for me. So that's four. Six more. Easy peasy. Let's get a six more easy peasy. We'll play here. We'll play something fun. Maybe not a goblin gambit. Oh, we're doing this again? I will repeat this one. This one worked out fantastically well. So I would love to see if you would like to continue. Last time, Bishop uh, F5 was a very fun game for me. This is actually one of the more respectable lines. I'm going to go here. Usually the point of g6 is actually to play knight f6 and just avoid uh, ever getting pinned here. 
but I'm sure this is not too, too bad for the opponent. Possibly here. This would be the scariest move, so I'm going to play here. And now, I am feeling a bit rambunctious, so I'm going to play c4. The idea is that if you take, at some point I can push. I'll have to defend the bishop first, so I'll have to play like knight c3. But then I intend on pushing d5 immediately. I'm trying to bring as much conflict in the opening stages here of the game as possible. Ah, those with the engines. <laughs> We're saying the engine was screaming bishop h3. It just, the alarms weren't going off in my head in that last game, to be honest. Because I'm here. I'm here to make bank. All right. Eh, this move is good. If you're immediately, you can now take here, takes mono rookies on that. Ooh, I guess I just take here, though. This is the best way to do it. And uh, we'll grab this. Check. And it's not, it is mate. Okay. Boom. That's five. That's five. Oh, we played some other time in the past. I actually didn't remember that game. But that's five for today. Halfway there. Halfway to 50 subs. Uh, I've played here. I've played here. I've not played here. We'll just play some Sicilian. Ooh, okay. Wow, is black my opponent is doing all the gambiting. So every, every game is a gambit. Opponent didn't fall for my devious trap. Oh, my Epon. I'm just not good at faking it. All right, but we're up upon, and this is actually kind of a normal Smith Mora, I would say now. Where I'm going to develop this thing, but White is just has control of a very critical square. White is just content, said, hey, I got d5, and I'm cool with that. Also got my bishop. So, is this a piece? Oh, no, there's this one. But then there's here. As long as I'm not missing something, there's here. Could be missing something. But as long as I stay connected to this, I'll be fine. Like here is possible. Yeah, this is a good move. Uh... So I guess I'll go here. I'm expecting this. Because if you just take here, I can grab the bishop. <gasps> no, I can't. Oh, no. Wait, there's a lot of oh no's going on here. <gasps> Wait, this is a serious issue. But I don't know if the opponent knows it. <laughs> if here, I can't take. Well done. Okay, so I'm in serious trouble now. Serious trouble. All right, this one, we're going to have to put our thinking caps on here. Ooh, okay. Give me that with check. Whew. The knight was the scariest piece. I will take that knight off the board any day of the week. That was the scariest piece. Whew. <laughs> All right, this was the first game that's close. Definitely a little bit of a scare there. I'm sure when we run back the tape on this one... <laughs> There may have been a few mistakes. But now we're good. Now we're up material again. Life is beautiful once more. We'll hang over here. And we'll try to do stuff on these light squares. So, here for here. Hoping for this. If here, I guess we'll just keep one of our pawns. Okay, so I'm not checkmated yet. So I can go here. I got this square under control. White does have a battery. Oh, so I can go here. Or, is this even stronger? This must lead to some sort of checkmate. If it's not made, I'm, 
hopefully winning material. I got this coming up. So this should be winning some material here. And then if I can get my rook into the game here, we're good. Uh, looking for a combo of checks that would lead to winning material directly. Not seeing it. I'm just going to never get checkmated. And then I'm going to... It's not actually too, too easy to bring my rook into the game. Maybe it's easier now. Now I actually have the opportunity, because there's no rook check. If I can use my last piece, we win. So This rook actually was really powerful in the C file, because I never would have been able to lift my rook up. But now... Very, very, very difficult to stop. We'll, rook, queen, whatever. We'll do it with the queen. Honestly, the scariest game. <laughs> that was the scariest game. Uh, very, very, very likely that I was losing at some point. Okay, I go d4. No more of this Carl Kahn's business. Okay. Ooh, okay. This will be something fun. Maybe I can play the flick knife attack? Or... What is this about? All right, honestly not familiar with this idea. So when you don't know what to do, you develop in castle. That's chess 101. When somebody shocks you, you develop in castle. I'm sure this is not the best move because I don't have G4 fully under control yet. But let's be real. I'm going to try to blast in here at some point. I'm going to play knight G3, H3, E5. And I'm also, I like that my plan is very, very slow in this kind of position. It's good to have a really slow plan. Because sometimes it's not super easy for uh, the opponent to come up with an excellent plan. If your plans are very slow. If that makes sense. I'm, sh I'm sure this is right. We're going for it. I don't know how. I don't know why. Maybe it's not. But it just feels right. There's a lot on the line, so I guess I should calculate a little bit harder. But, eh. This would be kind of sad if the game I do lose, which seems almost inevitable that I'm going to lose a game here at some point. It's sad if I lose it to this opening. Oof. Sometimes you play good moves. And I just wish that you wouldn't. I'm just here chilling, trying to win easy, and then you play some good moves occasionally. Knight's coming here. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to just chill on easy street, and then every now and then, you play a good move. Hello, hello, everybody. Might be missing a few messages, but <laughs> thank you to everybody here. Thank you to everybody saying thank you. Thank you, Fatal. <laughs> Being persistent... I'll give an honest, I'm going to give an honest opinion on this. Being persistent in chess does work, but not immediately. If that makes sense. Uh, it pays off, but it's long term. It's like the stock market. As long as you hold forever, you get better. As long as you practice chess forever, it'll pay off. But it's not like linear, the way that you want it to be. <laughs> Improvement in chess is not... Doesn't follow the path that you want it to. A lot of bumps in the road. Okay. But now we have a very good position. Pawn down, but really, who cares? This is, uh... 
just fantastic position we got now. Famous last words. You've been doing it a while, still the same rating. Have you been trying to improve? Maybe you have. Maybe it's a very long process. It is tough. Improvement in chess is very tough. One little trick. Here I have a check. This feels... <laughs> I deserve to be down at least one piece with this kind of compensation. I wish I could put my queen here. I have interesting ideas. Like, a lot of interesting little ideas. I'm sure there's some big, like, knockout idea here. I just don't see what it is. So, I'll play a couple little ideas first. Super happy with this. I'll try to undermine the knight. Okay, happy with this. Undermine the knight. Hello, Ross the Boss. How are you doing? If you're just joining, we are playing for a lot more than Pride and Glory here. We're playing for 50 subs. This is... We've entered the big leagues here. And we're all in it to win it here. And so far, everything has been going very well. This is my sixth game in a row. If I adopt, meaning I win all ten games, I will receive a large and very generous gift. And I have no intentions of not winning This night. Oh, the time. Okay. Give me this, give me this, give me this. Oh, time could be our undoing. If you're making threats, it might be hard for me to see them with the low time. Whew. All right. That was closer than I wanted it to be. But that's seven. Uh, we've gone here, here, here. Let's throw a new one. Oh, the ortho schnapp. Hey, we got an ortho schnapp. All right. I wasn't 100% sure if this was a true viewer or not, but it, confirmation. It has been confirmed. Absolute viewer of the, of the stream here. I was just <laughs> had to play a French to get the confirmation. Yeah, usually you take this and this is weird from this side. Honestly, this is maybe the most scared I've been. Is this opening? Uh, and that's 100% real. Orthoshop is a very scary beast. And honestly, it means I'm not gonna play another French. <laughs> All right deal if your opponent plays ortho schnapp you just can't play the french anymore it's too scary <laughs> oh it takes that one Okay, I'm not going to worry about if this is a uh, Bobby Fischer moment over here. I'm... Oh, my gosh. This is just... This is incredibly scary, though. I'm assuming it's a two-way street, but... With this much on the line... You do not want... <laughs> don't want these many complications. The closer the match gets to 10-0, the less and less... I'm in favor of complications. This move, however, not very complicated. <laughs> That's eight. Let's go. Uh, I go here again. Okay, we got one more, one more idea up our sleeves here. Mm, not this one. Ugh. Oh, this is disgusting. I hate this. So I'm upset. I'm less upset about this. 
Okay, so this is just going to be a boring game of chess. And... Another line to not repeat. I haven't really hit the line that makes me go, oh yeah, I want to play this one every single time. Which is, if you can find that line, if you're playing like a longer match and you just find that line that you can succeed with every time, usually you're in good shape. I have not found that line in this match so far. I'm assuming this is very minimally good for me based on the fact that, you know, it's four on three, but can't really move. Not really a huge deal. This move's probably wrong, but it could lead to a big payoff. Hmm, it's a pretty good move. Opponent is scaring me with just, you know, one too many Got good my moves eye here on and there. Enemy. Yo, D Nation! <laughs> my mortal enemy? Coming in here during the biggest battle of my life? Whoop-ow! Had a pawn hanging hey, there. Jonathan. Thank you, E4, E6, mate. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, not 100% sure what I need to do about my the problem I have. I'm going to try this. This isn't the best solution, but it, it gets some stuff off. I just want to get a couple things off. I'll even go back. I'll take one step back so I can go two steps forward. But thank you guys so much for the subs. Okay. But we cannot, cannot, cannot drop the ball here. You get a square, I get a square. That's just called playing fair. Brings me back to kindergarten. You get a square, I get a square. Everybody gets a square. We'll see who can be trickier with the knights. Very tricky piece. I like telling my opponents exactly as much as they need to know. You know? Ooh, okay, we got a big sacrifice. Black is going to argue that the knight is better than my rook. It is an annoying night, not going to lie. Ooh. Okay, how do I... Here? Come on, let me win a piece of no whammies. Let me win a piece of no whammies. Honestly, I think it is probably distracting more so for the person I'm playing, right? When I... Listening? Okay. I just wanted to test, see if that would work. We'll do it the, the old-fashioned way. We will attack it two times, and then we will take this pawn. I need to give a check. Need to get you off that diagonal. If you go up, I will be lame. If you go back, you will be in bad shape. I will be lame. For 50 subs, call me what you want. I'm trading the queens off and winning the game. That's nine! That's nine! There's a song I do want to play for the last game, but it's probably DMCA. <laughs> So let's go. This is it. Game is on the line. Uh-oh. What is my opponent thinking? Plotting. Maybe they want it. Are they going to make some crazy offer? Is that not 10? So this last one was from a while ago. So that's 9 today, 10 total. Lifetime score, 10. This was one year ago. <laughs> we played one year ago. So it's 9 today. If you want to go one more, I'm trying to think of, you know, you're a crazy poker player. I don't know what kind of unnecessary <laughs> odds you want to put on this next one. But okay, here we go. Here we go. 
Okay. Scandy, but serious Scandy. And by serious Scandy, meaning I'm not going to play something that's more than plus two. Okay. I'm going to play this line, which does lose. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. If you played bishop c4, I was going to play some line that does lose. But instead, I'm just going to go get this d-pawn, please. So this is probably bad, but only like normal bad. So this is a good way to, to finish it. I get a pawn now. Your d-pawn. I will take this d-pawn next. This is the entire point of this opening, is to attack the d-pawn four times, or three times, and then take it. So, and actually, if played uh, properly, this is this is a bad line for black, but I think it, it would be very difficult even for many strong players to refute without knowing the solution. Especially in a three-minute game, so. And it's a very rare opening, because... It's not particularly good. Here, we have a particularly good gambit, a uh, good position. The opponent cannot resign. Opponent wants to resign, but just can't do it. Let's play it safe. We'll just take this one. And then try to put a knight here. Failing that. We'll try to be as lame as possible. Trade down as much as possible. We'll just go to safe squares. I obviously want to find an active square, but obviously this move is coming. All trades are welcome. In my mind, every trade's a good trade. Here for here. Not really concerned with that guy. Only thing that could go wrong is if white somehow is able to use all of the pieces. So the way for me to try to win this is just to not allow any silly counterplay. Uh, in my mind, all trades are good trades. Every trade is a good trade to me. <laughs> you joke, but I think there there are those that have said <laughs> that they would purchase a course called, like, I don't know, <laughs> winning with losing openings, called something along similar lines. You joke, but there's a market there. Keep it closed, please. Absolutely no reason to allow a file to be open here. We'll just keep this closed, please. I can take with a pawn. It's actually not a big deal. Knight here, knight here. One At one point, my knight, which is my extra piece, is going to enter this game. Every trade's a good trade in my book. At some moment, this knight will come to some beautiful square. This rook will either find somewhere down here or even this way. Uh, I will go here immediately, preventing the queen from coming here, covering some squares. And then we just need to find... We are just one good idea away from winning this game. It's only going to take one more good idea. And then we should be able to win this. All trades are good trades, if you ask me. Grob has reinvigorated your interest in chess. Love to hear it. I like when all of these, uh, when dubious gambits do help people out. I think there actually is a real need to make chess a little bit more fun. And I have a little bit need. Honestly, serious though, I woke up with about 50 less subs today. I had, let me do the math, because I had over 70. I woke up today with like 40-something, because <laughs> a, a bunch of gifted subs must have been missed. Uh, you feel good about the next one, double or nothing? Double or nothing? Just one game for 100 subs? Are you out of your mind? Let's do it. Let's roll the dice. Double or nothing. Let's roll the dice. Let's go. Hyper focus. Hyper focus. I get the white pieces. Are you joking me? I 
And I'm bringing the good... Oh, I forgot. Ah, I'm playing a Carl player. Ah, shoot. For 100 subs, I... Stop. 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 I'm not trading this time. Stop doing that. It's very annoying. I forgot I was playing a Carl player. Ooh. Oh, no. He could have taken and taken my deep on. There was takes. I would have taken with the queen sacked upon. No need. Okay. Focus, Jonathan. Focus. You haven't been nervous this whole time? There's no reason to get nervous now. Yeah, I go here. Whatever. I don't care about this capture at all. This is the most important game of my chess career. At least financially. C4, D5 right away? Oh, there's this check, though. Okay, I have to keep in mind that this is a possible check in, like, every line. I'm still gonna go for it. Okay, I'm still gonna go for it. I'm prepared to get checked. Okay. Well, now we're good, right? I have a good feeling about this one, too. I'm terrified, but I have a good feeling about it. All trades are good trades when you win pieces. Even have the square covered. This is a beautiful thing. Literally, all we got to do is not lose focus for another four minutes. And then we can walk around town with 100 subs, acting like we don't know nobody. Take my bishop, I dare you. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yes! We did it! Huge shout out. Uh, huge, huge, huge shout out to the opponent. Epiphany77. Obviously a must must follow, must watch. I'll be I'll be over watching Epiphany now. I'll be checking it out, getting some poker tips. Oh, what, brace what, yourselves. What, 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 oh my god, they're coming in so fast. What? This is who we just played. Please 100% check out Epiphany. This will probably be a YouTube video. If so, uh, please make sure you check the link in the description. Check out Epiphany on Twitch. Learn some poker. <laughs> and thanks again for this match. Truly, truly awesome experience. Had a great time. And uh, I will see you on your channel sometime. If you're feeling trapped like a queen, no blunders, only sacrifice and see well, you may have to lose. Never be a chicken when you lose.